we're going to mom's mom made food mom made food on a sunday but it sucks because I, I, I have to tell her like yo like i'm trying to cut weight i ain't even i ain't even trying to be like that right now moms you feel me so we're gonna find out what what mama dukes made i did say i want some cornbread but then i looked and i read like what two o'clock last night and told her never mind because we was eating man we had some we had some damn they just put me on some indian food last night for real some butter what was it babe some butter chicken some butter chicken and some naan bread and some garlic naan man that <sighs> shit mama what? you already started cooking i'm done are oh, you done yeah. oh we just saw that you came I from saw, I, said they don't think I, ain't <laughs> I was like oh man y'all go in last night knowing y'all was coming over here today that's my question well, because that's that's the real question. Because we want Indian food. Oh, I love uh, Indian food. Where did y'all go? In Carrollton? Yeah, there's one in Irving. Uh -oh. I'm always trying to mind. Yeah, it's called Dunker. I'm about to find out. Cause mom, mom, swear she know where everything is. Okay. Yeah, it just say Carrollton. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm. Why is Loki gone? Loki's not gone. He's in Loki. Loki is not. Did you watch Loki? Did you watch I Loki? love Loki. Will delight in your dumbstruck little faces. We got a apartment tour going on. I don't know what that is, but just something. Let me touch on that thing. Let me touch on. Why are you running away? Why are you running? Oh, <laughs> Sure about this one either. I was like, oh, these don't really do good on video. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, that's what I'm telling you. The advertising, and then this is another back here. Cool. 
that's crazy. That's still our apartment over there. Like that would that would be dope. My my statues right here. Yeah. My everything. Yo, my like, marble all stuff, pictures, man. All my anime. I'm trying to send some man cave back here. Yeah. This is this is a man's area. To done you in the house, we are at the gym. Apparently, the pricing is not as correct as we thought. We gotta play around with the dates. We gotta play around with the dates because originally it said like three thousand eight online. So on Zillow, it said three thousand and like nine bucks. But we gotta check the start date on Zillow though, uh -huh. because when I was playing around with the dates, the price would change. It would go up or go down. Oh, uh, so we're at the gym. So I'm about to get this workout in right now. Body, everything but what's coming out are these village in the iron tangido knee sleeves right here we have those we also have these that I've worn I don't know if you've seen me wear these online on Instagram and stuff you definitely use code aftermath to get a discount on these you use codes for Ron 10% off transparent labs go we're gonna take the bulk black this is the heavy stem pre-workout that we have you guys once again 10% off code to Ron support your boy support the brand I love this brand so much um, and uh, yeah let's get to this workout you know back, back when I was in high school and stuff a lot of uh, you know training and stuff wasn't as, as serious as it is now for yeah. all you know the younger guys and so I mean we I mean growing up in Texas you're gonna train if you're playing sports yeah you know but still so yeah, yeah. it's uh yeah bro first off ladies and gentlemen let's let's talk about I'm the old guy in the gym right now. I'm about to be 30 in about 12, 16 days. I'm about to be 30. No, 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 in like 12, something like that. But anyways, I'm in the gym, you know, getting my work in, getting my warm up. My warm ups are usually about like 15 minutes. I don't do anything crazy on the treadmill. Uh, I just enjoy a nice brisk walk before I start my workouts. Now, as you see me doing right now, this is something that helps develop knee health, strong, healthy knees. Um, you know, I've had a problem with knee health in the past. And honestly, after you do this exercise, I kid you not, your knees feel like all your problems are solved. I mean, they're not, you know, completely, but they definitely take a lot of pressure off the knees. Um, I've been doing these before I do any type of squat, um, bending of the knee movement, and it helps relieve so much. And I believe it's because you work those muscles in the extension, the triple extension um, of the quad and the area surrounding the knees that um, help utilize stabilization in the knees. Um, but we did about five sets six reps i think each leg uh, right here we're focusing once again on the hips the quads um bringing that leg up the stronger you get with bringing the the legs up in the hip areas um and of course as the bigger your legs get the more you're gonna have to do this because when you're an athlete you have to pick your legs up quickly and then we move on to some band squats um nothing crazy i think about like six to eight reps um i was kind of playing around with the movements today and the rep scheme and then we move on to the jammers with a step up to a full extension everything you'll see today is about being explosive from the start you know with jumping vertically and horizontally um everything that i'm doing today especially is to enhance the 40 yard dash and your broad jump um you'll see that not everything that i'm doing is going to be like a full depth squat because 
in your 40 stance or in a broad jump, you don't go down to a full depth squat. You know, it's like a quarter squat and we're focusing on being explosive from that range of motion. And um, we have supersets with these exercises that I'm doing from the jammers to the the uh, banded quick, nice jump squats. Um, but moving on right here, as you see, you see me doing kettlebells with the bands. I, f I find it funny when I mention using bands or use bands in videos because people are like, why don't you just add more weight? Well, the reason for bands is constant tension throughout the whole motion. Adding more weight is not going to give you constant tension throughout the whole motion. You know, the bands give you that cable effect to exercises. Uh, so I did four sets of 10 reps with the bands and then after the bands we did some type of contrast training so i did the broad jumps kind of mimicking that same movement that i did with the bands um like a non-weighted you know so that contrast training will definitely help you work those fiber two twitch muscles and moving on to a more of a vertical jump where you're kind of like this is more so of a over over height jump so you're using the bands to get more out of the jumps that you would do to help you with speed um, with your jumps. And moving on to the next, we're going to do these broad jumps with the band around my waist. So building that resistance, um, being explosive, making sure I get out there with the band because right when I'm done with these sets, I take it off and I do another jump. It's like that same thing with the contrast training. Like imagine, you're doing, you know, I don't know, 500, 600, heavy, your heaviest squat. Imagine the effort you put in that heavy squat, right? Now, just take the, take the weight away and put in that same effort. That's kind of the beauty of the contrast training because you're trying to build that same explosive effort, you know, with the weighted without the weight, you know? And um, your, your body gets used to that. And so ending off the exercise or the workout, we uh, do the runs on the treadmill. I try to do about like 10 sets of 10, um, 10 sets of 10 second runs and, um, you know, just back and forth. What I'll play with it. Sometimes I'll do like a 10, 10 second run, 20 second run, 30 second minute break and then a minute run and just kind of do that three times. But uh, that is the full workout. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and watch the rest of the video. All right, we out. Headed to get some food. I am done here with the gym. Had a good little workout. Nice, you know, explosive. I switched it to more of a jumping broad to vertical type of jump day because we have a, a three broad jumps in a row. So consecutive broad jumps for my uh, XFL tryouts. So. I think I need to work on that. That's gonna be one of the key uh, movements that I do that I'm pretty sure I'll be one of the top of out there. So that, and then of course the 40. Those are my two main four focuses for uh, just like really killing it out there for the combine. Hi, got us some protein chips. Where are we going to eat? What you want to eat? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, pulled up back into the crib. But they still ain't come to fix this fucking light, bro. <sighs> Gotta move that out of these apartments, bro. Gotta get him out of this damn apartment. But anyways, none of these damn lights, but I guess mom and dad is on the same, uh, he done made all this damn meat. Look at this. All type of meat, burgers, meat, meat, pork meat, all type of stuff. So I'm probably on some meat and potatoes all day, man. Meat and potatoes, gonna eat that up. Gotta still go to mom's house and grab some food from her. So we just gonna be loaded up with some some steak, meat, and potatoes for the next couple of days, man. So that's cool. Just to keep some, keep some, uh, keep, uh, keep it nice and lean, and. uh now I'm off to edit this video. So appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, it's going to be the rest of a boring day. So I don't really think there's anything else to film. And uh, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and catch you guys later.
Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 